And today's episode of The Coffee Bush Kid is brought to you... <laughs> I was getting 42 all the time. But anyway, you're not going to walk away. There you go, 42. G'day folks, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid. Today we are going out with the M9 coil. We're going hunting. This is an area that I have been in, oh, back in the Xterra 705 days. I'm just up on a spur, if you have a look around behind me. You might not be able to see much. It is just glorious up here. So, what are we gonna do? I know there's a, a little bit of a dump site where I've got some coinage from before, but we're just gonna, you know, it's a, it's a gold area, so could be in with a chance of pinging a nugget, but realistically, I don't know what we're gonna find but we'll find something. Will it be a button? Will it be a buckle? Will we get, I don't know, who knows? Put your, put, put your orders in and we'll see how I go. Anyway, enough yabber from me. Let's get our stuff and let's get out there. Well, believe it or not, this is actually one of the dump sites I know about. I, I reckon it nearly would have been old Xterra days. Um, we've got tin, we've got glass, got crockery. I've got a good number of, uh, of coins out of here. I don't know whether someone had been camping here or not and just dropped stuff. And I think I've got my first um, uh, Salvation Army badge, which I was a bit shocked to find what their motto was. Uh, was it Blood and War or something like that? I'm sure Vid will correct me with the uh, with the right title of it. But yeah, I found one of those out here as well, which was rather interesting. So anyway, this is this, but we're still going. We're, well, you know, heading out over that way. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning though. Yeah, look at that. Up in the range as I am, beautiful sky. She's still a bit chilly, I'm waiting for the sun to warm me up a little bit more but anyway good little bit of a hike and we'll get there so I suppose we better do it now well they must have uh, put in a fair bit of effort for getting something out of there I reckon so we've got lots of uh, mine shafts around everywhere so we are out with the M9 coil I don't expect it to be extremely trashy but because it's a nice light coil it should be a good hunter uh, we'll use SID settings, we'll see what's around. But yeah, it should be nice and easy to poke around, cover a bit more ground than the M8. Anyway, let's get into it and we'll see how we go. Well, I have recovered this up just for dramatic effect, but... Yeah. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, actually there's more over there too. That's good, because... Can you see it? It's there in the center of the screen. There we go. It's that. That is part of the buckle. Would not have been one of the things I would have said. I, honestly, I thought I was looking at either foil or a piece of lead. But no, that's part of a buckle. Now, we do have another one over there. So, best we have a squeeze at that and see what we come up with, I suppose. I'll just uh, set that aside. Might as well keep going, hey? Yeah, it's not very deep. The other one was actually just in the leaf litter. So, there we go. That would be the other part of it. There we go, two really low bloop bloop sounds, and uh, we've got part of an old buckle. I wonder what else is 
lurking around here. Here's a nice one that you would have to investigate. But I can even make it go long. So, are we going to say that that's lead? Or we're going to say it's gold? The ground here is <coughs> very shallow. Could be a button, but I don't think so. We're out. Oops. You know how I said I didn't think it would be a button? Well. I did see that roundness. There we go. I'm not unhappy with a button. And that's an interesting looking one. Oh, it's a four holer. Oh, <laughs> it's a four holer that's been squashed. Now, what we do want to know though, it's probably a double ring edge, I would say. Yeah, it looks like it's that funny style of old Englishy writing. So there we go. I'm going to say that's a squashed double ring edge for hole button. You know who you're watching. We've got a couple of interesting ones here. We've got uh, this one. Three bars down, you go, yep, that's a nice splotch. Got that one. But we'll do this one first and see if it affects the second one. Mmm, soft ground here. Mmm, could be interesting. Alright. Let's see if that's all out. One would say it was. Good. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I see a little rotter. I thought that was a rove, but it's not. That, as I try to clean it up a little bit better, apart from the fact it may, actually if I look through the finder I can see that there's something there. That's all right, because that is actually off a handsaw. We can tell by the square shank, just underneath the head, the taper on the head, and the fact that the thread has broken off here. So that is a cool find. That's all right, like that. Now, let's see what our second signal was. Yes, so that's all right. That, that first one didn't interfere with it. Got like that. That's all interesting. Now, is this the big saw medallion? Off it. Hmm, you won't see that. Yeah, that's another one. I wouldn't have expected it to, um, given <coughs> such different signals. Yeah, that's off a handsaw as well. That one's got the slot in there. There we go. Hmm. Interesting. Let's, um, just a quick one. That could well be mineralization yeah all right well there we go we've got two where do you put it there two pieces off a um off a handsaw so that's pretty cool anyway we will keep going i got a massive splodge all the way around 
from 60s into the 90s. And that's what it is. That is a thumping great chunk of lead. See, someone clipped it with their stealth spade. But it um, took me some digging to get it out. That's a big bloody target, isn't it? Don't know what they used it for, but something. Anyway, off we go. Well, wandering through the bush, I have come across some old ruins. But one of them really, really takes my fancy. And it's that one. Oh, it's a chimney. No, it's not. No, she's not a chimney. That, I believe, will be a forge. It's too big, high up for a chimney. So, because there's so much diggings going on, so we can see how it's nice and rectangular in shape. The old blacksmith would have had the hand pumped bellows and he would have been working here. But mind you, in this type of area, and we can see all the holes here, the whole gully's just absolutely strewn with uh, mine shafts. And uh, yeah, the, yeah, sort of nearly every gully there was a blacksmith because they were always repointing the picks and so forth, fixing this, fixing that. So yeah, I think they did all right. But yeah, yeah. let's just have a wander through here. As I said, I'm just passing through this area, so but I just thought it would be interesting to show you. And you know, there's whole potholes as far as the eye can see. It must have been a hell of a sight back in the day. Yeah, there would have been tents everywhere and yeah, absolutely amazing. But uh, it must have been a good spot. They built the big chimney. Anyway, we'll keep going. Light might be starting to beat us a little bit, but we've got this. You're not going to walk away from a solid something like that, are you? So, let's have a go. Put your bets in. What's it going to be? Button. It's ribbons. What's going on in there, isn't there? Now, did anyone say one of those? Hmm. It is interesting. Oh. I know what that is. Now, if I was, if I started watching the screen and not my hand, I'll tell you what, I'll just be back in a tick. That's better. Now, I do believe I know what that is. Anyone, anyone out there want to have a guess? And that, that is the big giveaway. Alrighty, this is the top of the powder flask. This is where the little flap would come across. This is the inside of the flask. And you see this little sticky outy spigoty bit? There's a piece that slips on the top that has notches in it that will tell you or allow you to put a certain amount of grains of powder for your firearm. So yeah, that's what that is, the top of a powder flask. That's pretty cool. Wasn't expecting to find one of those. But, you know, he who expecteth much receiveth should it be more or less or powder flask tops. I think there's something in that for all of us. Well, I've got an interesting splodge or a couple of splodges for you. Have a look at this one. It's so got that end. Two lots. 
So this is going to be interesting. Is it that there and it's bleeding over? Or is it two targets? Okay. Ah, oh, cool. All right. That's toe cap. Now, we'll put that down on this convenient rock. Now let's see. No, can't get that 90 back. So it must have just been um, bleeding over. So yeah, interesting way of looking at things, isn't it? But there we have it, an old toe cap. All right, not only do I find you four whole buttons, we go in, we can read there that I'm, I can find you improved patent two whole buttons. By geez, I look after you lot. Now I haven't scraped the ground or anything like that, but Oh, bugger, it was up to 35 there, yeah. It's going to say, ooh, is this a half sovereign after the M9 testing? We better dig it. Can't leave that lying in the ground unprotected. button isn't it oh. are you no I'm gonna have to clean that up hang on a minute the reason I stopped and laughed was I saw one hole and I thought oh don't tell me I found a three hole button no no I just found a plain Jane four hole button Sorry about that. <laughs> 26, 27, in case you were wondering. But, yeah, ooh, have we? No, we haven't. It is plain, unfortunately. But anyway, a nice little find. We're gonna leave that in the ground. Well, it's not just Buttons and buckle fragments. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, look at its fangs sticking out. You've got to watch that when you find these. Don't want to get bitten by one. Highly venomous. There we go. Oh, she's had it. That wasn't me that did that, I don't believe. Um... But there we go, it moved. The things are all back in place. There we go. As I always say, great design. Suspend a buckle. Bloody ripper. Well, all I've been digging up has been 22s and bits of molten lead. But out of that hole, I managed to score that. There's a little belt tensioner. That's not a bad little find. Oh, look at that. Even the evening rays are on it. Glorious. It's funny. I can't remember what I actually dug out of this hole, but there was sort of two signals. So whatever it was that I got, I think it was a piece of lead or something. I remember there being another signal, so I poked around. Oh, yeah, it's there. So we've dug in, we've dug in. And we've got that. And, of course, you go, yeah, no worries. It's a button, we can see that. But we can also see the bumpy bits on top there. And that's gonna be something. So I'll have a clean of it, and then I'll come back and show you. All right, we're back. We can just... I can't even make that out properly. Looks like an N. Well, that's probably London, actually. O-N-D-O-N, yep, radio. Can't read the last bit. I wonder if it's Furman. Simply because, there we go. That is VR. I believe it's VR. Oh, yeah. 
I think maybe I need my glasses checked. But anyway, it does have a crown on top. Might be GR. I don't know. We've gone through all of them now. They're either George. It's not a W. So we've got Georges, Victorias, and Edwards. But anyway, I'll find out eventually. But that's a cool button to find. You've got to love a button that's uh, that's got bumpy bits on it. Anyway, we'll keep going. Well, I got a signal low 20s. So I've dug the hole and it's out. You know what that is, don't you? That is cool. That is, uh, there we go. Oh, actually what I'll do, let's do that. Suspender buckle, but a different style. So that's, that's pretty neat. Looks like it's bent, may not work. There might, and there is. That looks like Paris, that's a different style of Paris buckle. Oh, now I've just wiped it out completely. Let's do that. Let's do that. Look, I'm pretty pleased to say that it says Paris, but that's an unusual one. Look at the fancy on that. It's not our usual style of Paris buckle. I don't reckon that's gonna go over, and I don't think I'm gonna, oh, no, hang on. I was gonna say I don't think I'll force it, but there we go. It too doth work. That's cool. We'll just quickly have a look at this one. There is a dodgy, shocking looking signal. Now it's out the ground. I've got to find out what it is. Is it going to be a button? Oh, or is it going to be that round thing? It looks like it's got a bit of an edge to it, doesn't it? Let's have a closer look. We're going in closer. Gee, that looks silver, doesn't it? Um, mm. uh, it's got to be a button, doesn't it? Or a very, very worn. Um, George the, or will we, George the fourth or William the fourth, very, very worn sixpence that's been through a fire. I'm not sure. What I'll do is we'll give it a bit of a squirt with a squirty and we'll find out. Well, the light is failing us. And I can't see anything on that. And this side's still got a dirty, great thing stuck to it. I reckon, I reckon it's silver that's been through a fire and I, I reckon it's a sixpence. But it was a grotty signal. Um, yeah, it's just that I've been looking at the splodges going, yeah, look. You know, it's come into the non ferrous zone. It's got a lot of hanging on, but uh, yeah, that's interesting because, there we go, we can see the bit of steel that's there. And I think there's a couple of other bits in the ground here. But if that is a sixpence, well, you can almost half think you can see something there. If that is a sixpence, that's not a bad find. Well, there we go, folks. The end of another adventure. It was over a couple of days. Ooh, buttons. Did you get your fix? We got a suspender buckle as well. The top of the powder flask was interesting. And we got a little piece of wild silver that in my excitement, I did forget to sniff. <sighs> but anyway, 
I believe that it is a, a very, very slick William the Fourth sixpence, as they tend to be. Anyway, we drop one of these videos every Saturday night our time. Uh, come over, have a watch, subscribe, like, comment, share. Do all the things that make a channel grow. Please, if you would. Anyway, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. And I'll catch you next time. Well, there we go, folks. <laughs> Might have to start again.